Today we will learn how to install Python 3.5 on Windows. For this, go to python.org website. On that, click on downloads button. Now we are going to install Python 3.5. If you are interested in installing previous versions such as 2.7.11 or any of the previous version which are listed here, you can click on the corresponding download button but we'll install python 3.5 click here it will download the setup file if you're using firefox or internet explorer it will show it in a different location but you will figure it out so click on setup file on this click add python 3.5 to path this checkbox it's very important i will tell you why Customize installation. I'm going to install it for all users, which will install it to this location. Install. It will take a few minutes. Python got installed successfully. You can verify it by running idle and Windows command prompt. So if you are, I have Windows 10. If you are Windows 8 or 7 user, then click on start button and there will be edit box here. It says search program and files, but I have the same thing here. So type in I D L E. Click on this. This shows you the Python shell, which allows you to write Python programs. Now, if your fonts are very small here, you can increase the font size by going to options, configure idle and increase the font size. Whatever is your preference Just select the size and say okay now let's start writing our first python program so we can use python as a simple calculator as you see it here or you can just print any statement so i'll just say yeah i installed python today and it will print that so for beginners it's idle is pretty useful it allows you to write simple Python programs. We will learn how to use another sophisticated editor for writing big Python programs, but idle is good for now. You can also verify Python installation by going to Windows command prompt. So type in CMD and here type Python. So this is showing you the same shell as idle. So for example, you can do the same thing that you are able to do it in idle but idle is much better because it does the syntax highlighting you see like print is highlighted in a different color because print is a special keyword in python uh, it also has some other cool features so always use idle uh, now on windows sometimes if you are typing python and if it doesn't recognize the command then it means it is not present in your system path so for example when i type in path here you see like Python installation directory is present here. If it is not present in your case, then go to environment variables and choose edit the system environment variables. And here, click on environment variables and after that locate path, click edit. And here you can manually at the beginning, let's say if I didn't have this directory, then I would just add it at the beginning followed by a semicolon and hit OK. After that, this should be able to recognize the Python command. Okay, thank you.